So 3D printing for airsoft, is it absolute garbage or is it kind of useful? Let's find out. So 3D printing is something that is not new by any means. I remember back in my high school days, my teacher purchased like the original consumer grade 3D printer and that thing was still flippin' expensive. And 3D printing has evolved a lot since then, thank goodness, because it was not very good. And uh, today I have a 3D printer that costed me around $250, which is nuts for the quality that it's able to produce. So real quick, my printer is called the Elugu Mars uh, Pro 2, and it is a resin style printer. There's a couple different types of printers you can get. Most typical is an extruder style printer or a PLA printer. The most typical printer is like an extruder printer. So this one is a little bit different and I really, really like it. I'm glad I got what I got. So I've printed myself all sorts of different things from like ranger plates on my mags, to muzzle brakes for my pistol, um, to flash hiders for my rifle, uh, grips, uh, stocks even, like all sorts of stuff. You can even print like entire guns and then just drop like an HPA unit into there. I also saw the other day you can like 3D print your own HPA engine. I have no clue how that works. I'm sure it's not that great, but I'd like to give it a shot. So if you'd like to see something like that, definitely let me know. Also, quick little interruption, this video is sponsored by the YouTube join button. If you guys want to give a little kickback to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. It's no secret that YouTube absolutely hates me. So uh, I appreciate each and every one of you channel members. If you can't afford that, totally get it. I really appreciate you still. If you would leave a comment, like, or subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. So there's also been some companies that have made some 3D printed products and I've used a couple of them in the past. 3D printing is by no means a replacement for metal components. <laughs> if you have a printer, you can 3D print yourself an entire M4. But that being said, that thing is probably going to break at some point. And that's pretty much my experience with every 3D printed product that I have personally tried. It's eventually going to break and you need to know that going into it. So we've obviously seen things like HPA grips with the paintball style regulator and grip uh, in there. We've got high kappa slides and uh, 3D printed mag adapters for high kappas and that sort of thing. Those are kind of some of the most common things. People also got like drop stock adapters, mag base plates, all sorts of stuff. And definitely after seeing things, and I'm typically someone who I like to think is pretty heavy on my gear, like pretty hard on things and it breaks a lot, but it's actually not that bad. I see a lot of other stuff on other people's channels where like stuff's just breaking all over the place. So a lot of people have broken those HPA adapters and whatnot. Personally, the only thing I've ever broken was the um, Monk Customs uh, M adapter. The mag release plate for it is on the front and I had it shot out. And my friend also had his shot out as well. And I know of a few other people who've had it shot out. So it's just like, it's obviously just not as durable, obviously. And now we're seeing a lot of those companies move to aluminum CNC style things. It's more or less the exact same product, it's just aluminum now, which I think is great. So where does 3D printing fit in to the airsoft market? Do I like it, do I hate it? What's my kind of my opinion on it? Well, personally, I'm really glad I have a 3D printer. I think it's awesome. There's a lot of products out there that, you know, you kind of want to just try and experiment with, like different grips and mag base plates and different sorts of things. There's so many cool products out there, but they all cost so much money. And to find the right grip for you or whatever it may be, it's just a lot of work and money. So having a 3D printer that you can access, that you can just print out whatever the heck you feel like it, it's pretty cool. And it's definitely a powerful tool, I personally think. Again, there's so many cool attachments that I've always wanted that could cost more than my entire printer. If you're curious on what you could print before you even buy a printer or anything like that, there's a site called Thingiverse. It's probably the most popular. You can go on there and you can check out a ton of different uh, 3D printed files. There's all sorts of cool stuff on there, but if you just search like Airsoft, there'll be a ton of things that come up. You can print out outer barrels, mag wells. I printed out my brother a mag well. Um, all, all sorts of crazy stuff. But yeah, it's like I said before, I don't think 3D printing is going to replace anything. It's just kind of a cool cost-effective way of printing out your own little fun products and stuff. But personally, if my grip breaks, I can just print out another one and it's all good. 
So I hope that gave you some thoughts on 3D printing for Airsoft. I personally think it's really neat and I'm glad I have one. Uh, but again, it is by no means a replacement for <laughs> anything else. And it's just kind of fun. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, you guys. I appreciate y'all. We'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome. Peace.